What's going on everyone and welcome to our spoiler discussion for Toy Story 4, the new Pixar, I'm just going to say pick, the new Pixar classic because they always <laughs> end up being that way. Um, I'm Brian, I'm going to be hosting today for this. Uh, I'm joined with Keith and Jake Rowan and we are here to discuss a little bit of uh, some Toy Story 4 spoilers. It's been, what? About a mm, couple days since we also do we we, we yeah, also so by the time this comes out this will come out on either Monday or Tuesday it'll probably be about three or four days since we each saw it so yeah been so, sitting on it for a while yeah so uh, we've had time to process it and decide what we thought of course it's the fourth movie that is in this beloved tr well it's not even a trilogy anymore I don't even know <laughs> what to call it saga. Franchise. Franchise. Quadrilogy. For, for Quadrilogy. 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 Um, but. Does that make sense? Qua Quadrilogy. Quadrilogy. Quadrilogy? I don't know. Quadrilogy. I don't know. But uh, for me, I know Jake, Keith, I'm assuming, uh, these movies, for me at least, have a very large portion of my heart dedicated to it. These movies were my childhood completely. Uh, this was, m this as a child was my life. So these movies are very close and near and dear to my heart, much like The Lion King is to Jake. So you can check back here and listen to, uh, to his breakdown when that comes out. That'll be an exciting one. It'll just be me 20 minutes of crying. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Um, but, uh, let's go ahead and dive just into it. What did we think about it compared to the rest of the franchise uh so i mean this um, so going into it obviously if you watched our trailer reactions and some conversations beforehand um you knew that i personally was very excited for the movie but it was also at the same time a little hesitant because i didn't want um rehashing of the first movie because there were similar beats throughout the trailers. Hmm. Um, and obviously, luckily, after seeing the movie, now that this is spoilers, the movie is not that at all. It's a very different type of story. Uh, yes, it kind of plays off of it slightly, um, but the beats are completely different, and the emotional arcs are, are very different from, from any of the previous movies. Um, I... It's it's hard because Toy Story is the one and only franchise that you can say that all four movies are on par with each other. Mm -hmm. Every single movie is on par with each other, and at this second, it's hard for me to rank them as far as like if I like this one more than this one, like the past one, or if four is better than two, or if one's better than three, or whatever. Um, I will just say this: it is it's a return to what Toy Story is. It's a return to what Toy Story means. Um, they did not damage it whatsoever. Mm -mm. They added onto it in every way possible while also, uh, elevating it to a level that, um, I didn't think was possible for a fourth movie. And in that matter, and I'm sure we'll touch on it, the fact that for the first time that I can say this, the fourth movie in a series is the funniest <laughs> out of all of them. This movie is so enjoyable because of the humor of it and... And it's got adult humor, too. Yeah, and these movies have always kind of touched on that, and they've always kind of played that line a little bit. But this one in particular just... It feels like a different breed. And, and like I said, I'm not ready to say that it's better than any other ones, but it really just plays differently, and that may also play into the fact that I may be older now. Um, but it's it's just... It's so good. It's just It's just so good. It really is. It's just so good. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. It's I'm unbelievable. Doing. It's unbelievable. All four of these, like you said, you know. Um, yeah, I felt the same way. Uh, you know, uh, a, a, a tet series of four things uh, called a tet tetralogy. Tetralogy, apparently. Interesting. What the? Okay, yeah. interesting. High yeah. quadrilogy. Yeah, quadrilogy. <laughs> yeah. uh, quartet is also sometimes used. But, uh, I like quartet yeah. a lot. Quartet. The Toy, Toy Story quartet. quartet. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's kind of cool. That's a weird... Yeah. I can't wait for that Blu-ray. Toy Story so. quartet. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Uh, uh, gosh. This, this movie is just... I, I don't even have words for it. Like I said, it's, it's hard to just... 
I mean, all four just leave you just like, yeah, it's everything. You laugh, cry, you're up and down. It's, there's nothing, there's nothing, in my opinion, there's nothing bad in any of them. That There's nothing that makes you go, yeah, never really, this part, but, yeah, I could have done without this. Nothing, nothing in any of these, for me, mm -hmm. in any of these movies where you, you, can, you can find, in any movie you can find something wrong where you're like, even in as much as we love Avengers, you know, whatever, Infinity War, Endgame, whatever, we can find a part where it goes, yeah, I didn't like that part. But, I don't have anything like that with any of the Toy Story movies. Yeah. Man. I, that's every, I, just, I love them start to finish, all four of them. Um, this one was unique for me because it, uh, I only saw Toy Story 3 the one time. I didn't see it in theater. Um, this one felt like a clear... Uh, I remember at the time of Toy Story 3, was it 2011, I think, or 10? 10, 10 or 11, one of those. Um, I feel like it was 11, but whatever. But... Um, People were complaining about how dark it got. 2010. It was 10. Okay, it was 10. Okay, okay. It was uh, the end of it. Yeah. The yeah, end yeah, of Toy yeah, Story yeah. 3 and, was and, dark. Well, and that was a lot of what people are leaning into was talking about that, how the way that ended. And people thought that that would be the... Yeah, and we felt like it was. And you, you really had that moment where... Pretty much wrapped a bow, which would have been yeah, no pun on yeah, the bow. Yeah, well, but. And, well, after, the, obviously, the moment where we thought they were all going to be destroyed. Yeah. Um... You know, it ended obviously with uh, them going to the little girl Bonnie, um, but yeah, right up until then, it was just like, man, they're gonna, oh my gosh, they're all going to die. Like it really yeah. felt like this one was clearly they're like we're gonna make a comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah and it, clearly we're gonna go away from that, especially with the ending, which I'm curious to hear <laughs> uh, what you think about the ending, Brian. But because you have some interesting thoughts on that, I guess. But uh, yeah, yeah, I I, I love the characters, uh, the newer characters. This one, this one, it's 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 your typical thing where one of the toys gets separated and goes off into, you know, it's, it's, I don't want to say it's the same story, kind but it kind of, of is. They're all, cause that's what they all are. Like they, they, they do, they, they get separated, but this one's different where the toy, the toy left. Yeah. The toy actually left. Right. And so, I don't well, know, it just, Forky yeah. was genius. But they do it so well, it's, it's just so well, he was, uh, is. And, he um, was genius to the use of the story. Yeah, it, that's it, that loses right when just yeah, going to say is that they're so well written and they always find new and creative ways to for well, for, for one thing, for the reason for the toy to be gone and for a reason for the other toys to go after them uh or for one toy to go after them and then the rest of them go after that one or something like that, some kind of combination of of that and it's good it's good well great storytelling and it's some of the best we've had really in any any series of movies I think ever. If not the best. Yeah. I, I I agree. It's it's definitely up there. I thoroughly enjoy I enjoyed the movie as much as I will get into how much I am against how it ended. Mm -hmm. I loved the movie. I took my mom to see it because mm -hmm. she was the, obviously she's been around <laughs> since I first saw it. Um she knows how much I love the movie. She loves the movie. I it's and so we went and uh, we were busting up laughing the whole entire time. Anytime Forky came on the screen, I thought Duke Kaboom was hilarious. My mom kind of was just like, she didn't really understand. It was Keanu Reeves in a toy body and it was perfect. That yeah. alone just cracked yeah. me up. It was and perfect. So the, yeah. he was hilarious. <laughs> um, Ducky and Bunny were hilarious. Um, yeah. They they It was just awesome. All the characters fit in, new characters fit in really well, and I am so glad that they didn't just introduce Bo Peep as, oh look, she's back. Like, they gave us a reason to why she wasn't in the, the other one. Yeah. Um, what was the last one she was in, two? Two. Two. Yeah, okay. Um, and but it's funny, because the one thing that I left now going is uh it's like oh okay now i know where bo peep was now i'm sitting there like okay where did rc go yeah because they like saved rc and then it was yeah. like oh, okay rc's gone yeah. mm -hmm. like so i mean and it's not that big of a deal compared to bo peep who was or barbie what what did barbie stay at the time? the barbies must have been there the barbies the must just because remember the, the the daughter or the sister Bonnie. was younger no, like the his oh, Andy's are you talking about Barbie. Andy's. Oh yeah, yeah. That, she was younger than Andy, so the Barbies are probably still. She there. was a no, she no, was a no. baby. She was in Toy Story three. Remember that because uh, Ken was a. 
something happened to Ken in Toy Story Three, or Barbie wanted to. Uh, well, no, he. Oh, they, oh, I, I see what you're saying. I see. What, yeah. I think Barbie stayed at that. Stayed daycare. at that, the daycare. Yeah, she did. Remember, because yeah, okay. her and now Ken. Now you're saying. Her and Ken took over the daycare. Yes. That's right. Yes. You're right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Um, they yeah. took over Lotso's job. <laughs> um, That's right. So, um, yeah, no, it was. It threw me off when it said like when it started out saying like nine years ago. I was like, I know, right? I was like, what? I was like, where are we starting with this? And then I was like, oh, okay, this yeah. makes sense. And the cute little call back to the uh, barrel of monkeys saving. You know what's, what, what killed me is that opening is nine years ago was when the third one came out. I thought that they were going to lose our seat. Hmm. Oh, I was, me too. I was, I was like in my seat cowering because like, no, no, don't show me this right now. Yeah. Break down. I, don't, don't show me this right now. Mm-hmm. Because I, then I thought I was going to play into the movie later on with him save like Woody saving Forky or, or someone like that where he got to save someone when he lost RC or whatever. Yeah. But it played into it in a different way, which is very cool yeah. with the fact that and I've been saying this for a while, but Bo Peep ends up getting, you know, uh, taken away uh, to a different family. Yeah. Bo Peep asks Woody to go. Woody says, no, I have Andy. And then at the end of the film, he leaves to stay with Bo Peep and he leaves his toys uh, who are with Bonnie and he separates himself and He's now what's considered a lost toy. So uh, I kind of like the the twist they did because at that moment I'm like, if you show me that RC gets washed away right now, I'm gonna lose my into a storm crap. drain. Yeah, I'm gonna lose That's my. That's the crap. one thing I was the most afraid of is they have never had up until this point had never shown a toy like mm-hmm. die. Or get like, yeah. some. Well, no, that's not true. Sid blew up toys, mm-hmm. but like. But like uh, toys that that are in that the core some, group. Yeah, core it group. wasn't yeah. like us losing a main character. Mm-hmm. So when I saw that, I was like, "Oh my god, they're yeah. going for the gut punch right in the beginning," <laughs> yeah. and they didn't. Thank goodness, because that would have been a hard recovery. I feel like, yeah. um, and they never once did it. Out of the four movies, they never once got rid of a main character that meant something to us and i think that was something i appreciated because the inner child of me would have been devastated yeah. if to see one of our toys get yeah, yeah, yeah. taken away Actually or destroyed, destroyed accident yeah. whatever um do you want to just dive right into yeah let's pick it pick it up pick a couple different topics to talk about like the main things i guess a little bit um oh well first i think the big thing is bo peep returning she was she was a big deal not being in like people, people were pissed when yeah. she was not in the third movie because, which was interesting because they were well they had jesse which joined and yeah. she essentially i felt like she kind of replaced, replaced her. her well they were supposed to be together according to the commercials from two yeah. uh but the connection between Bo and woody was always a little right. bit strong yeah right, right, right. um so and it was kind of always Ironic that the cowgirl fell in love with the space ranger mm-hmm. or whatever, yeah. however you want to call it. Uh, but she was a badass in this movie. I she, loved her. She, Annie Potts too. Annie Potts coming back to her. They her. used her brilliantly. Yeah. They made her story amazing. The fact that she hadn't been in it. Part of me, it feels like when they made Toy Story 3, they didn't know what they were going to do with Bo Peep. So well, she they, was just like kind of a one-note character. Yeah, and I mean... We she, saw her twice before. She was and, glass. Mm-hmm. You can't really do yeah. much with her. So I feel like in a way when they made three, they kind of just were like, okay, we're just not going to use Bo Peep. Yeah. And then people were like, what the hell? You took away one of the main people. And But this movie almost makes it feel like they planned that they whole entire thing out. Yeah. And if they did... They're freaking geniuses because that's ten years of a story, mm-hmm. but she was perfect. Even um, even Billy Goat Gruff, uh, <laughs> it, like having including them too because they're a part of her. What, uh, what did what did he say? Bobby, Bobby, Frank, and Frank like Bill and... or something, <laughs> which was yeah. great. And every single time he said a different name, their eyes would squint like you're, <laughs> you're an ass. But um, yeah, she was she was fan. Fantastic in the movie, and she was a badass. She had oh, a broken she was, arm. She, and, I, yeah. I said it. I I said it in my little my little Twitter mini reviews that I I try to do that, uh, and it's totally pun intended. But she was the bow on top that tied everything together. Yeah, she she perfectly tied the film together in the best way possible. Yeah. Um, this movie at its core is all about Woody. It's mm-hmm. all about Woody's character, his evolution 
from the first movie until now, from the beginning of this movie until the end of this movie, and the part that makes that all happen is Bo. Like she is yeah. she is the second biggest reason why this movie works so well. It's Woody and then Bo. Um I love the way she was introduced. I thought that the skunk car was amazing. <laughs> How was fast genius. they were going with yeah. the with the sheep driving. If that would have been RC, that would have been, been cool. Yeah, that would have been, been cool. cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. I like that she was kind of like the scavenger in a way, a la Ray almost. You yeah, know, stop. Disney, Disney. You know, hey, just saying. Um, she reminded me of like for, someone from like the zombie apocalypse that was just kind of. <laughs> yeah, she, like, she, right. she was living. She was living alive. She said that she was seven. She was lost for seven years, yeah. and that she was the happiest she's ever been. Yeah. And she was doing her thing. Seen you know, she was in a store and with someone for two years, and then she's like, I don't want to do this anymore. Like, I don't yeah. want to be stuck here. And her and her sheep uh, went off and did their own thing, and they're, you know, they're scavenging. They're getting tape and and. I love uh, the little cop, uh, McGiggles or whatever. I think <laughs> yeah, yeah. McGiggles. Uh, she's hilarious. Yeah. Um, uh, the, it's funny, that right before we get into this, a little quick little scene I loved is the, the moment where Woody and both uh, meet for the first time, they see each other, and those three G.I. Joe men show up. Combat, who, who? That's Combat Carl. Oh, Combat Carl. That so was, uh, the third... Carl Weathers. Was it really? Was it really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I didn't so know that. So the third one that kept getting left out, where he was looking for the high so five. Sad. Yes. <laughs> Dude, yeah. it was I was dying yeah. laughing at, at that moment and just like he kept like looking up and then he kept <laughs> turning and then looking up and then he walked away finally. Um yeah. but yeah, it's the Bo Peep story was great. I love the the tie-in with Gabby Gabby and and you know her lamp and the antique store and, and the creepy ventriloquist. Oh, yeah, the dolls. ventriloquist walls were incredible. how they moved. Yeah. Oh, like, they were perfect. They it were was perfect. Nuts. <laughs> so yeah, but and I, I loved Annie Potts did such a great job. With uh, with the voicing, I think yeah. that you know, I mean, the the voice worked out so well, and um, it just it it wouldn't have worked if if Woody and Bo weren't there together. Mm -hmm. um, the story it just felt right, like it felt, and we've talked about it, and we'll talk about it again. But it it, it feels like a definitive ending, and the reason why is because of Woody and Bo. Like yeah. it it was always meant to happen yeah. this way. It was always meant to happen this way, whether we like it or not. It was always meant to happen this way, uh, in my opinion, anyway. Well, so. Woody had to. He had to go on this journey. He he had to. Uh, he was so still so attached to, to Andy, mm -hmm. and he obviously carried that over into his relationship with uh, Bonnie. <clears throat> Bonnie, and he he had to learn to let go, you know. And you saw you know right from the beginning, like he's he's becoming you know he's being played with less and less, and like she said, uh, was it? I guess Bo said you know sitting in a sitting in a thing or sitting on a shelf sitting in a closet or, sitting in a yeah. closet or whatever like that's no like get get out you know mm -hmm. get out and go do something find a, find a new purpose he felt like his only purpose was to be a, a kid's toy uh, to belong to a kid and just I love the lessons in all all these movies have a lesson and and I just I love the way they it just incorporate the lessons and themes into because it's life stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. you really, it's real with it, toys. It, yeah, yeah, and it really is. And I, I, that's, I love that. I love that about these. I think all the Pixar movies do that too. But I think Toy Story does it the best out of all of them. And it, oh, yeah, most of all, yeah. That's why there's been four of them compared right. to everyone else. It's had maybe two. Yeah, yeah. And there's lessons for just not just your kids. It's for us. Lessons yeah. for us going it's through life. life. Like you know, it's for anyone. Yeah. And you know, twenty four years of these of these movies, and it's, it's there's a new lesson yep. that you can learn at each point in time when you watch these movies. And, I think you know. for me, this almost hammered in the fact that, and my mom agreed too, that this movie almost kind of like flat out said like, this is Woody's stories, mm -hmm. all yeah. four of yeah. them. Yeah, like yeah. I, it was almost kind of just like Woody and Buzz's story, like the two best friends, blah blah blah. blah. It's not. The whole thing is Woody's story. Yeah. Yep. So yeah. I think this movie, and it's funny because the one thing that made me laugh the most uh, when I read online afterwards that they said is, this movie is the G-rated version of Logan. Oh, that's a good call. I think that's. I, I that's think funny. I, isn't it? Yeah, isn't that funny, kind of yeah. funny? Because that's... you kind of think about it, and you're like, no, and then you're like. Well, yeah. I mean, kind of. Yeah. So yeah, it's that. literally like it was the there. People were like, "This is the kid version of yeah. Logan, yeah. essentially." <laughs> but um, yeah, so this movie obviously put us through a ringer at the end and has left 
Before we get to oh. the ending, let's talk about the new characters. Okay, let's, you want to talk save, about the new let's characters? Let's save the ending, yeah, because there's three major characters. I figured characters. we were going to debate long on that. On the no, ending, we will. So. We, we definitely will, but there's three major characters. I guess, like, I guess you can consider four that we see more. Uh, <laughs> yeah. But you have... Forky. You have Forky, you have Duke of Boom, you have Ducky and Bunny, which are kind of considered in a group together because yeah. they are tied together. Yeah. Um, and then you have Gabby Gabby. Gabby, 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 Gabby was the, le- the lesser of the, of the four, obviously, but um, Forky was the one advertised the most and he was better than advertised. And uh, he, he, my expectations were uh, mild because I didn't want the same thing over and over from him. Mm-hmm. Um, he started off really hot and then because Woody and Bo's story took over, he kind of got held back a little bit in the middle and then came back at the end, which I appreciated. He did, he didn't, he almost like was used perfect in the middle. Just kind of, mm-hmm. he kind of like, well, he pushed, was with Gabby Gabby. He pushed yeah. the narrative. Yeah, he was with Gabby Gabby and, he, and his story served a purpose in the middle where it was just a little. Um, Tony Hale is perfect. He, yeah, he was. Well, he and was. so the director of the film, Josh Cooley, came into Collider Live last week and he talked about Forky. And he said he wrote the part for Tony Hale. Mm. Like, that was his choice. And he called Tony Hale, and Tony Hale's like, yes, I'll do it. Um, FYI, there's actually a couple shorts of Forky coming out later this year. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, so they're doing more stuff with, <laughs> with him, I believe. I hope his, his, his knife I think uh, I think Duke <laughs> yeah. Kaboom might come in there as well at some point. But, um, but he's, yeah. the, he's the MacGuffin of the story. Mm-hmm. Like, he's the... He's the which is perfect for him, being the object that, you know, or we got to get him to this place. Mm-hmm. To, Get him back to what's her name, uh, Bonnie. So yeah, I, I love that he so, came. That the reason he came alive is because she wrote her name on the bottom yeah. of his popsicle sticks. Like that's what made him a toy. Is she claimed him. Like this is well, my toy. And the thing is that, and they didn't touch on it till the last scene of the movie, but or I think it was one of the the mid credits. But the the, the 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 knife asked, "How am I alive?" Yeah, <laughs> and he's like. I don't know. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, exactly right. Like, I, every single alive? time he was going, trash? Yeah. Tra- trash. I was dying. Like, <laughs> he, you just see like him get thrown. And <laughs> yes. I was yeah. laughing. Well, it's the way that Tony Hill said it. He like said uh-huh. it in this weird way that made you laugh. And then um, when they're walking down the road and, and Woody's trying to convince him that he's a toy, and then he talks to him and he's like, so I'm Bonnie's... Trash? Yeah. Woody's like, yes, no, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I like how he would walk like three steps and then get and then dragged. Drag. Yeah. And, then he, and he goes, can you carry me? And Woody's like, no. <laughs> then the yeah. three steps dragged. Yeah. Like, he was perfect. And then Ducky and Bunny were hilarious. Mm-hmm. It, Key and Pill, it, they were... If there had absolutely. to be a duo, those two had to be those yeah. characters. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was perfect. Yes. Well, the... Yeah, they they were the way that they countered Buzz when they first met, and then like they that whole the yeah. yeah, they kicked him in the head, and he shut his helmet on, on, on Ducky's foot, and then they <laughs> tackle him, scream. and then they tackle him on the roof, and yeah. um, oh, when they were listen, when they were describing how to get the key, <laughs> oh my god, oh, <laughs> dying, and then how we found out how they got the key, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which was even better, and then they yeah. played so, it off. Oh, it was difficult. So, yeah. 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 What did they call it though? They kept calling it something when they were attacking the old woman. They, oh, they were screaming something. Yeah, yeah they were screaming, but I thought it was uh, so good because they used that shot in the trailer, and all of us were like, "Wait, <laughs> are they going to show that they're alive?" Yeah. And then it's cool how they kind of think about it that way. But the post-credit scene. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you didn't see this. I'm so <laughs> upset. So they I need to find it. They did it again. I was dying. They did it again, but they enlarged <laughs> themselves like Godzilla, and they had laser. Oh, I saw that. that. No, I okay, saw okay. that one. Oh, yeah. I, so, the only one I didn't see was apparently the uh, post credit. The post oh, post with, post credit okay. scene. The the one when they when they enlarge themselves oh and then it was so and then Duke funny. Boom goes. You can do that. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. Again, yeah. that's Keanu Reeves to Whoa. a T, and it's perfect. Every single time Keanu Reeves' character was like, what was the Canadian kids' names? Like, Laurent? No. Uh, Lou. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's Laurent. I forget. What, Lou, I no, think it's Laurent. I can't remember. Yeah. Whatever it was. You just, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bijan. Yeah, yeah. It's not it's something like it that. Something like that. And yeah. it's just every single time they show the kid, and the kid is not good looking. It's just some, <laughs> <I know. laughs> and he's just like, oh, when we first when we first meet him and he's doing the stunts and then uh, Bo Peep's like telling him stuff. He goes, wait, hold on, one more. He splits his legs and he's looking <laughs> through his legs. I'm just like, that's yeah. totally a Keanu Reeves thing. And yeah. then at the very end when he has his heroic moment, he shoots through the donut, but he hits the lights. 
that was, and oh. he crashes and he gets up and he's like oh yeah <laughs> i'm like oh my god yeah. it's so amazing it yeah. was it was perfect i expected honestly i expected his character to be used a lot more no he was used he perfectly. no i'm not saying he wasn't he was used perfectly but for me with the names and the amount of talking they had about mm -hmm. Keanu Reeves coming in, I expected him to be like huge role into like almost like as rivaling Bo Peep, but he was used a perfect amount and he didn't get over over like hey Keanu Reeves is in this movie. I didn't see him until maybe about halfway through. I mean, once he showed up, he was a yeah a big part mm -hmm. of it. You know what's funny about it is that the entire time I forgot he was in it until he showed up. Oh, I'm too? so invested. Me too. Like, yeah. I, and then he showed up. Was like, oh my god, that's right. Yeah. Like that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I love when uh, he uh, Woody says, says whatever Woody says to like activate his memory, and Bo Peep goes, oh <laughs> here we go. Yeah. yeah and yeah, yeah. he just starts. <laughs> oh, you're you're story. the you're the greatest Canadian stuntman alive, or something. No, she said he said something about. Uh, what I gotta is, get back to my kid. My kid. He's like, oh, you oh, have a, and okay, he goes, okay. kid. You have a kid. Yeah, and Bo yeah. Peep goes, oh, oh, don't, oh, here we go. Yeah. And he just starts telling his story. Yeah. So yeah, no, that was what a great origin too, where he just like pussed out at the very <laughs> beginning, and that's it. The kid just stopped playing. <laughs> he literally got played with one. Yeah. The kid has like a flaming circle, and he just goes, <laughs> and he's done. He's yeah. just done. It was that was that was funny. the new characters. Drove this well, movie. Gabby Gabby, too. So, and oh, she's yeah, I forgot about it. Voiced by Christina Hendricks, yeah. who is brilliant, yeah. mm -hmm. she's really um, underused. Like, I really like how they what they did with her. Well, she wasn't a, she wasn't a straight villain because she was exactly she what? was not a straight villain. My mom said this and she put it perfectly she wasn't a villain, she was an antagonist, antagonist. and yeah. that's exact until the very end. And I this is going to segue into the ending, but I was like. The voice box was going to be the thing. He was going to feel like he'd lost his voice and that was going to be the ending. Mm. And then it didn't That's, end that way. Yeah. And I was like, yeah. yeah. And, yeah, yeah. But it, it, when that girl was crying for being oh. lost, mm -hmm. yeah. it was so like real. It and, oh. and it yeah. like, it made Woody that much better for like doing that and stuff. Like, cause I you felt like she was a bad guy for taking this thing from even though he kind of like gave it to her mm. but then once like he was like go like be that person then it was yeah. like okay well just... that's that's where his that's where his story started to change he yeah. started to realize that you know he he has served his purpose for a long time and they mentioned it that he was he has been around since the 50s he's been around for 60 years right he, his his service as a kid's toy was over. It was over. And well, and it's the thing that she never got. Mm -hmm. And once she stopped to ex actually explain, he stopped chasing him and just explained what it is she wanted. And, you know, she talked to him about his And they, his how they experience. saw it physically, how she got thrown away by that girl. Right. right. Uh, and she never, the thing that got me, I think, to like her more was she, that she never got played with because she was broken yeah. from the very beginning. Yeah, right out of the box. Right out of the box. So, yeah, she was affected. Yeah. Yeah. It was a combination of, of Gabby Gabby and Bo Peep. They, the way yeah. the way Bo mm -hmm. had lived her life for seven years, and how Gabby Gabby didn't get to live her life, it kind of made Woody realize that hey, I served my purpose. It's time for me to kind of step yeah. aside yeah. and let other toys kind of do their chase. thing. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, Which and that was the thing. That's literally, and that's the thing that that was happening to him in the first one. You know, but he was the and he was this cowboy from With the fifties, and then just new Buzz super, yeah, yeah. Buzz Lightyear, the new. Fancy new, but they put uh, a nice little twist to it, which yeah. is cool. Yeah, yeah. Yes, exactly. So, okay, so the ending. I'm slow. I'm this ending is gonna take me probably years to eventually be okay with, <laughs> but right now I'm pissed. I hate it. I'm living. You hate it. For right now, it's a strong word. I really am not happy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not happy. Okay. Because to me. He has always been like, we have to all stick together, do all this stuff, and then Bo Peep comes around. All right, we're out. I'm I'm good. I don't. But let me let me get there. And I feel like this diminishes Toy Story two a little bit, in the sense of hmm. he was gonna go to Japan. And they all convince him, like, you can't 
do it. Da, 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 da. And I understand it's and it was Andy, but like to me that almost kind of like I almost kind of felt a little bit like they took Toy Story two a little bit and like changed the story. I I just don't. I feel like it kind of just didn't. Uh, I don't like that he split from the crew. Like the crew that he's been with, Buzz. Like he, Buzz was barely in this movie for the for yeah, being. I know. Well, the, Buzz the core group was, but that wasn't the movie. Yeah, it wasn't the movie that. And we were being that on. bothered me a little bit too. That we barely saw the core characters, um, and then also like. At the end of Toy Story three, Andy almost didn't give Bonnie the toy, give him Woody, and yeah, he, was, he made he a big a deal to her. Like, this is my yeah, toy. That's a he, good point. He, you have to take care of him. He means a lot, and blah blah blah. But she wasn't. That's the whole point. In the beginning of the movie, he, he sat in the cloud. He was, he was. I know. With him less and less. Which to me, that kind of is just like that end now is a little bit tarnished to me because it's like... That's Andy's point of view, not Bonnie's. But Andy made the point to Bonnie saying like, I, it was like, I'm going to give you this some, this that means so much to me. I don't want to give it to you, mm. but I'm seeing how much the toy... And she, she grabs some cowboy. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And I get it. You grow out of your toys and whatever. But like, it was made a big deal that he was giving her this toy. And then it was just like... The beginning of Toy Story 4 is just like, she doesn't give a crap about the the cowboy anymore. That was, I think, the thing I had a problem with the most. The Toy Story 2 thing, I want to say, he was going to go to Japan. He was going to sit on display in a museum or whatever it was. Yeah. In an exhibit. Yeah. So that's why I was like, no, you can't do that. You need to stay here and be played with. Because he was just going to sit in a box. Yeah. With, uh, that was the thing that, uh, with the uh, the prospector and with Jesse and, uh, uh, what's the word? Bullseye. Bullseye. Bullseye, yeah. Uh. <clears throat> so that was that would be my counter to that point, but um, I just have a hard time I seeing think, Buzz and Woody not together. But that is so, the hardest part. So here, here's here's what here's the kind of the thing. It's it's almost an an Avengers Endgame moment where he tells Woody, "We're gonna be okay. Yeah, Bonnie's gonna be okay. Yeah, because Bonnie's Woody, selfish. <laughs> what, <laughs> Bonnie wasn't even involved in it." I know. Bonnie wasn't he even made involved in it. For him, but, she but it isn't about. He, again, it. He's got to let go of that attachment to any one kid and just it's like Bo telling him, stay here in this world. You're going to be in a carnival. You're going to get played with every day, all the time. And that's the thing that he loves the most. And, and you get a chance to get out. You, you don't have to even worry about being left under the bed or in a closet or, or sitting on a shelf in some store. You're always going to serve the purpose of being played with and, and having kids play with you and have fun. And then, you know. I just have a hard time the fact that you. he like abandoned all abandon. all of the friends that he's had since the beginning. Well, it's, he it, didn't abandon. He makes they, a big deal about sticking together in those three movies, and then the fourth movie, he's like, "But that's a character arc." All right, piece him out. That's a that's a character arc, I and mean, in... when you're doing it for three straight movies, and that's the central theme of them sticking together for the most part, and then the last one, you're gonna go. Okay, he's gonna peace out. But he didn't go. Okay, I'm gonna peace out. It took him an entire, an entire sequence of, you know, events and characters to tell him that. Yeah. He didn't say, "Hey guys, I'm out. Peace out. I'm gonna see you later." He. It took him. There were certain things that happened that showed him that told him, "Okay, they are gonna be okay. Okay, my time is over." It wasn't just sitting right. in the closet. It wasn't just, you know. Being around the friends or, or whatever, it was the events of seeing Bo Peep again, the fact that he wasn't being played with, right. uh, the events with Forky, the events with Gabby Gabby, Buzz saying, hey, Bonnie's going to be okay, we're going to be okay. It was a combination of everything. It didn't right. just happen. It was a kind of a story that was being told. And yes, I, I get where you're coming from, the fact that it was a three to one ratio, three movies of him saying, we have to stick together, and then one movie of him not... But that's what character and story arcs are for. It was an arc of doing that. And I guarantee you, if you look back, this story of four movies of Woody is going to make sense. It's going to make sense of him staying. I just don't like it. I don't, and I get it. 
I just don't you like... You just don't want to see him leave the group, and because we've had them all together for yeah, so Yeah, and it's just, like, I don't know. It's hard for me to, to put a concept over the fact that, like, Buzz and Woody aren't together mm-hmm. anymore. Like, those, and, like, Buzz is totally, totally fine. Like, he was just like, go. Like, he was like, they'll be fine, just go. Like, it, he, and it, oh. obviously he didn't say it like that, but it was just, like, yeah. in a matter of, like, seconds, like, it's like, okay, we go. Well, because he knew how much Bo meant to him, and, because and they were, because they were, remember, they were talking about the story, they were together before. He picked toes over bros. That's the problem I'm having. <laughs> like, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. I just, I think it's, for someone, for me, growing up, those two together, those were my favorite toys. Those are the seeing them not together anymore, it yeah. just doesn't feel right to me. Yeah. It doesn't feel I would have much rather it ended the way with three. Where it's a new kid. And don't get me wrong, I love this movie. Like I love the story and all that. Uh if they could maybe I mean it's hard to say like, oh, I wish Bo Peep could have been in it too. But it's. I would have much rather it closed the way three did, where it's, they got handed off to a new kid, and that way you're able to openly imagine like, oh, they're with the new kid and blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. I, I like the ending. I like. I, I, I like the ending of three, and I oh, think fit. that it it was a perfect ending. But if I was to go back, you know, or maybe ten years from now, I'm looking back at it ten years from now. I like this ending a little bit more. I think that it. I think that this ending works a little bit more for me because I think it makes sense. Woody, not only did he spend like what eighteen years with Andy or whatever it was fifteen yeah. years, however long it was, mm-hmm. he was alive for forty plus years before that was someone else serving purpose to someone, and you know his purpose was saved. And so I think, uh, right, I think it worked out well. I think that I I do I really like the ending, and it did make me cry, and I definitely teared up. And um, yeah, me too. It uh, it's an emotional journey because just as Brian, I followed this franchise from when I was a kid as well, and so, um, I think that the uh, I think the ending works out really well, and I do obviously I don't like that Woody and Buzz aren't together because they're they're the dynamic duo that everyone wants to see, but um, just the growth, man. It's it's, it's, it's Woody's that, growth. That this, growth. This is you know, his story led him to this point, right. and um, because if that opening scene wasn't in this movie. You know, and Bo went off another way and Bo didn't ask Woody, then it wouldn't make sense to me. But the fact that that happened right. is why it works out so perfectly. Yeah, I feel, yeah. So. that's how I feel too. I just feel now also like, this is completely off. But, uh, like, in a way now, for me mentally, like, if I'm to go to Disneyland now, and you know how the characters walk around, like, yeah. you usually I think the main characters that you see are Buzz, Woody, and Jesse. Yeah. Like, now, as a kid, in my kid mind, I need to see Bo Peep or, there now Good. to be with Woody. Well, maybe. So, because I mean, I don't know. I, I picture them now as separate because of this movie. So, I think that's going a little too far. No, it's, it's just, I, like I said, this is completely off the side. Always, but always. I don't know. It's, it's, I don't know. I, I don't see how people are saying there could be a fifth one after this. Well, it won't follow Woody. It'd follow another it, toys. Either. Or it would follow Woody and Bo out in the open, or yeah. it'd follow the other toys with Bonnie. In their house, yeah. Yeah. yeah I, and then yeah. probably coming together again somehow. <laughs> some Fine with me. If they come back together, oh, I'll be happy. God. I mean, but just end the movie. And yeah. have a separate and Bonnie's movie. in college now, so we're on the yeah. whole thing. Take but, our uh, kids to the carnival. But yeah, so that's our uh, spoiler <laughs> review for Toy Story 4. Uh, go ahead and leave us comments in, below to let us know what you thought about the movie. A lot of people have a lot of opinions about it. I know I'm in the minority personally. Uh, I've been checking Twitter to see if anyone else uh, agrees in my direction, and there's pretty much not very many anyone uh, agreeing <laughs> in my direction, pretty much with uh, Jake and Keith. But uh, go ahead and let us know what you thought in the comments below. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe and or like button. And uh, until next time, we'll see you guys later. Hey everyone, Jacob Bartley here. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out something similar from Apocalypse Movies, click this video up here. If you want something a little bit different, check out this video down here. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to Apocalypse Movies and let us know your thoughts in the comments section. We always love to hear from you.
Thanks for watching.